In this video, I learned the literal ups and downs of flying, climbing and descending, and do my very first radio call. Helicopter General Flying Area, Papa Bravo Charlie. We are about to stall, and this is our adventures in and around South Africa. This is the sixth video in an ongoing series documenting my PPL training. In this video I learned climbs and descents, in normal and in different configurations. Shamir also went through the crew and emergency briefings with me. But because this is a really important briefing before a flight, and as you learn later in the series actually came into use, I'll make a separate video about it. Just a disclaimer, although this video is meant to be informative, it should not be used as instruction. Please consult your instructor. Welcome to the cockpit. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Hello, good morning, cold day. Nice. Yeah. So in the colder days, it takes quite a while for the engine to warm up. Yeah. So we sit around and wait. Uh, while we warm up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so while we're busy with that, let's, let's discuss what we're going to do. We're going to okay. do... Um, we should be doing exercise 7, which is the climbing, Yeah. but obviously we're not just going to go up, we need to come down as well, so we're combining climbing with descending. Um, to initiate the climb, you're going to use uh, these mnemonics, you'll see everything got mnemonics, just to make it a bit easier. Yeah. So if you want to initiate the climb, we're going to first add the power, so like we discussed in the briefing, the excess value of drag because of that angle, yeah. we need to compensate it by using the thrust. So we're going to add power, and so it's power attitude speed trim so it's first the power then we adjust the attitude so we're going to put the nose up to a specific position we look at what suits what is suitable for you and then based on that and relevance to speed you will then find the position based on your, on your position in the um, we'll discuss in the actual climb what we're looking for and all that yeah then to level off from a climb this one now changes slightly because you can't do the power thing first because you're sitting with a high angle of attack but yeah. in moving power you're reducing speed so we're going to first do an attitude so it's aspt attitude first then speed then power then trim aspt to level off from a climb yeah then to enter your descent from a normal cruise you want to now initiate the descent we use the same mnemonic of past power first attitude keep the nose to where you want again attitude is dependable on speed so we're going to adjust the attitude to get the required speed and once we're happy we've checked we've held it there we can then trim to keep the plane in that con condition okay so leveling off from a decent recap power attitude speed trim okay um while we're in the flight we'll look at the different scenarios that we're yeah. looking at and what we should be countering for okay Hey, carry on climbing. We're going to go to 6.5. Okay, 6.5. So now we can enter a climb. Right? So it's power, attitude, hold the nose to a position. Yeah. Try to keep your nose. Oh, there's a lot. 7,000 pound foot and changing frequency 104. Yeah. Folks, so thank you. Lucky man. So you keep the nose, the horizon is a little bit hazy, but you can yeah. just about make it out. Put the white on that horizon, hold it there, check what speed you get. You should get roughly 80 knots, right? Yeah. So that's your VY. So if we wanted the VX at 70, we need to raise the nose a bit more. But we're not going to be, um, we're not going to raise it quite drastic. We're not going to double this distance. Yeah. We lift it by another centimeter, hold it there, check the speed we get. If we're happy, we then can adjust our time. Yeah. And that's how you'd always make So you always base it on where your nose should be. Don't raise the nose and like, okay, 170, where's it coming, coming, and you're busy pulling up. Yeah. And then you exceed your critical angle. Yeah. Okay, so position. we want, sorry, we want 6.5. 6.5, yeah. So now just before the 6.5, 20 knots roughly before, yeah. initiate your level off. So attitude first, wait for the desired speed, you must go outside of your weight. Yeah, That's so good. it's outside. Now okay. reduce the power. Okay, and then we're going to adjust the cruise. And then you can trim. Okay, I'm going to wait right. just a second. So now because you've reduced the power and adjusted the pitch, 
You'll see the nose wants to go with that. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Hold it there, yeah, I'll just, uh, and then adjust it. See, it's going a bit down. So yeah. look where your horizon is, based on our uh, previous yeah, exercise, straight and level. Yeah, we know where that nose should, know should be. Then. Again, yeah. it's, very, it's yeah, going to be dependent on who you are, yeah. how tall you are, and so on. So you're a little bit taller than me, so I can't yeah, tell you it's four fingers. Yeah. For you it could be five, or it could be three. Um, it's all based on you. So it's like holding on the highest point, check what you're getting off yeah. of. Yeah. So, um, it goes a little bit against normal logic. Right, because we've already discussed that by increasing our angle of attack, we reduce the speed. Okay, so let's look at the two scenarios. We want this thing to climb. We go with option A, we increase angle of attack, speed starts dropping. Assuming we were flying at a normal 90 knots cruising speed, by us putting the nose up to its climb angle, we now start reducing the speed. So now the speed will drop quite drastically, even below um, or approaching stall speeds. So for us to overcome this, we're going to add power. By us, if we're flying from the certain level, by us just adding the power, we're increasing the value of lift by increasing the forward speed of the aircraft, which does produce more lift, but then we're also increasing the angle of attack. So now we're not necessarily increasing speed, okay? Okay. but we are changing the pressure. So we're yeah. decreasing the lower pressure even further. We're only adding the power to sustain the speed in the climb. If you are enjoying this video so far and you are interested in the process of doing your pilot's license, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be notified when each of the next few videos are released. I'm going to initiate the descent. Now we focus more on the descending in this versus the climb and you'll see now why. Okay. Yeah, so let's just start the normal descent. We go power, attitude, speed, trim. So as you remove power, we get the coupling effect, count for that. Get the desired attitude. Plane should look level. Yeah. If we let the nose go down with the coupling that we're losing, yeah. you'll see the speed starts increasing. Okay. So let's get it to 80 knots. Now this is where a lot of people's misconception of descending because they are thinking that the plane needs to do that. Yeah. But remember if we decrease the angle of attack in flight, we're increasing the speed. And we need to manage attitude and speed. Okay. So for us to enter the descent, we use the same mnemonic, PAST. So we're first going to reduce the power or remove the power, depending on what you want to descend at. If you're managing the power with a specific amount of percentages, you then in the control descend. And then the plane now, if we're holding it in this attitude, it's going to start flying slower because we're removing the lift value. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to either lift the nose or lower the nose, depending on the speed that we want. So we, we're holding it level and we remove the power, keeping the nose level. We see what the desired speed is. If the desired speed is still too low, then we must let the nose go a little bit down. If the desired speed is too high, we must then raise the nose. I'll start with 80. Yes, it is coming up to 80. Don't overcorrect. Just keep it at a position. Hold it there. Check what you're getting. Yeah. If you're happy, adjust your trimmer. Okay. And that's now your descent. Before the altitude that we require, we must initiate the level of. And that's depending on how quickly you're adjusting power. Yeah. If you guys are going to move the power quite slowly, then you're going to obviously overshoot. We'll yeah. go down to 5.8. Okay. Um, so you must determine where you are. A good rough number is 10% of your rate. So we got a 400, so it'll be 40 knots before. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, so now we're approaching there. Let's wait till we get to like 5.8. When we get to the 5.8 mark, so you should now round off by 5.840. Yeah. You should initiate it there. Okay, okay. so there's 5.840. So Power. Power. Watch the attitude. The nose wants to jump. You see that? Yeah. Hold so the attitude. Put a little bit more back to your cruise. There you go. Listen to your engine. That's yeah. the best way to know. Okay, so attitude. Speed is coming up. Yes. Yeah. Speed must start going out of a white arc. When you're happy, you adjust your trim to maintain. Nice. That was good. So you see that we got a little bit of a tease in. Yeah. Again, just getting comfortable. We'll refine it as time goes by. So let's go for Heineken. Let's do a 70 knot tease in. But I also want you to go up to two flaps on this one. Okay. And we want to hit that big blue building there on the top. Okay. okay. So... Nice. Hold that nose. Hold the nose. Yeah.
There you go. So I want to get 70 knots and I want you to also go to two flaps, eh? Okay, so I'll go in the white arc, one notch flaps. Uh, so remember what happens with that nose yeah. or the flaps. But like we said in the briefing, because it's a descent, we must let it go. Uh, okay. The flaps is going to help us with visibility. Yeah. And it's going to give us a little bit more lift yeah. for the required speed. Okay, one more. Uh, there you go, and then keep the 70 knots. So are we going to make that bowling? Overshoot or undershoot? Uh, overshoot. Overshoot, Laura. How can we fix it? There you go. Nice. Will we make that bowling? Yeah. Don't let the speed go too low. You want to keep, try your best to keep the number yeah. as accurately as possible. Aviation is about attitude and speed. Yeah. For fix, for fixed swing, guys. Sorry, helicopters. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. When you're ready, we're going to recover. The okay. recovery is similar to what we do as a go around. So, full power. Just hold it level. Area, so really, uh, Taps to one. Hold it. Check it. Trim. Okay, so it's good. 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 Just west of Panama, nice. 5,800 feet, right, 6,500, it'll be in the area for next one. Well, let's time to 6.5, and then okay. I'm going to show you, um, there's two different types of descents. You get your emergency descent, one that you typically don't use, um, especially for us. We don't ever need to use an emergency descent for yeah. something like decompression or something like that. Okay. Okay. And this descent is essentially you pull the power close and you put your nose down. Yeah. But we need to watch where our speed goes because we don't want it to go to your up, uh, limiting speeds. Yeah. So we can put the nose down, let it go down, um, and then monitor as we go down. Yeah. I did the first descent with Shamir guiding me through the recovery before he took control to demonstrate what it's actually capable of. Okay. I don't have a term here, so I'm just going to exaggerate it quite a bit so you can see what it's capable of. Obviously, you don't always going to do this, but just so that you're not. Uh, I'm afraid of doing it. Okay. So I'm taking the power off. <laughs> Watching my speed. Turn around, my traffic. Gently recovering. Approach me from the west. Gently back to level. Runway yeah. and zero two. Power like you can. You see. So you can do it quite a bit, and yeah. it's like a nauseating feeling if you had <laughs> breakfast. Maybe we can check what we had for breakfast, obviously. Uh, and I'm going to show you the side stop technique. Okay. okay. I'm going to do it in the direction that w that you will typically do it in, in the event that you need to. Yeah. Which would give you more visibility yeah, as pilot. Yeah, which is right right there. Yeah. So here's where a lot of people make a mistake here because uh, they typically go opposite controls. It's not necessarily opposite controls. So you're going to go, f you're going to normally initiate a descent. Yeah. Typically in the event of an emergency. So you're like, okay, I need to go down. That's my feel that I want. Yeah. So you're going to typically be all the power off, but you have the desired speed that you want. Yeah. So the nice thing about this descent is that you can still control the speed. Yeah. And yeah, then when you do touch down on your field or whatever you've selected, you don't have too big of a roll to distance. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep it nicely on the 70 mark. I'm going to now start with the side slip. So I'm going to yeah. again give you visibility. So I'm going to go opposite on my right. And then I'm not going opposite control on my stick, yeah. which a lot of people think you go opposite. If Just I go opposite, look at what happens to my wing. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. I just want to keep it level. So just keeping level, and you can see it is slightly opposite to the rudder. Yeah, it's that's not because full of secondary though. effects. Exactly. So we're adding drag to the plane, and look at how the rate of descent goes. Yeah. If you want it to go down faster, you add more right rudder. Okay. And then the yeah. plane will come down more. And because we're on a safe speed, we can also operate flaps. Yeah. Okay, then to recover, gently off the pedal, keeping the wings level, nice and gentle, and then we can maintain our speed that we wanted carry on with the landing if we needed to. Yeah. We're going to do a full recovery, so full power, fly level. After Shamir demonstrated the side slip, I also had a go before we did a cruise and climb descent. For cruise descent, you typically use a little bit of trim to get the desired rate of descent. And for cruise climbing, you just add a little bit of power or pitch on the prop to get the climb as needed. Yeah, so the, the descending, you see we focus a lot more on the descending. Yeah. Because it's in that descent where we normally, we're typically going to, besides just changing altitudes, um, you're going to need the descents for your circuits to yeah. make a landing. And we can't just say, okay, I'm on final approach, I want to now descend, and then you end up halfway down the runway or at the end of the runway. Yeah. So now no, you need to manage 
your rate of descent with your glide slope so that you can get to the beginning of your runway. Yeah. It's pointless in getting to the runway and then you're halfway down. Then you, what's the point in having a runway? So when we do the descending with selected speeds and selected flaps so that we can manage the aircraft to get to the numbers of the runway. So we can then initiate flares and all the rest of it. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm happy with the exercise. We've covered all aspects for the climb and descent. Um, we can then make our way back to Panorama, and we're going to stay 6,300. Okay. Okay. Do you want to attempt radio work? I can. Okay. So let's give a call. Uh, oh, o over Heineken. Uh, you c w well, when we get to Heineken, you can okay. do the first call. And it'll Good. be uh, uh, still on the helicopter. Yeah. Helicopter so general flying area. Helicopter general flying area. Papa Bravo Charlie overhead Heineken routing back to Panorama. Yeah. When you do your radio calls, it's always a, 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 a lateral position and a, height, and so a altitude six, position. Yeah. And if you and then your intentions. And if your intentions means that you must climb with decent, then you must state that. Yeah. Um, so you will give your intention. So if you tell the guy, um, I'm, I'm Heineken and I'm going to Panorama and I'm climbing to 7,000, example. Yeah. Then the observer pilot somewhere in the area will know, okay, that's where Heineken is. He said climbing, so his path should look like that. Yeah, then okay, okay, so are we no? climbing or do I, do uh, I No, keep? we say 6-3, yeah. So now you don't have to say climbing, but you do say 6-3, routing panorama. Yeah. Helicopter general flying area, Papa Bravo Charlie, 6,300 overhead, uh, Heineken factory routing back to panorama. Nice. That's it for climbing and descending. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, please let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing, it really helps me to grow this channel and you'll be notified when the next video where I learn to turn the aircraft is up. As always, dream big, fly high and live the adventure.